Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and it's time for another Two Minute Tuesday. In this tutorial, we're gonna be using the brand new Shaper Box 2 plugin from Cable Guys to do some volume shaping for side chaining. The particular method I wanna be showing you is how to set up your MIDI triggering inside of Shaper Box 2 to help you along your way. So here I have some bass and a kick. And obviously that bass is conflicting way too much with the kick, so we need to side chain the bass when the kick happens. And we can do that using volume automation with ShaperBox. I'm gonna go ahead and click right here. And let's just go ahead and choose one of these presets and see what we got. So obviously that's happening way too uh, long. So if we wanna change the length, we can come right here, come down to a quarter note. Something like that's probably working. But what if we don't have a four to the floor beat? What if we have something like this, which is more of a break beat? You can hear that it's not working anymore. We're getting into an artistic realm of side chaining, but that's not what we're looking for. We're doing a more surgical style mixing side chain. So this isn't what we need. What we wanna do is send the MIDI signal from our kick channel here into the shaper box to trigger this envelope every time it happens. Therefore, side chaining just when the kick happens. So to do that, inside of Ableton Live, we wanna create a new MIDI track. And in this MIDI track, we want to come in from the kick channel, which is just a simpler device uh, using MIDI to trigger a kick inside of it. And we wanna click it to in. Now, if I play this, we should see a MIDI trigger here on the MIDI channel. All right, so now what we wanna do is send that trigger to the track with Shaper Box 2 on it. And here we wanna choose Shaper Box 2. Let's jump back into here. And then on MIDI trigger, we wanna go ahead and turn it on one shot. So every time it happens, it only cycles through once. And if you look right here, you can see it ducking down every time it happens. So we've effectively done it, but maybe we want the upper harmonic frequency content to skirt over the kick and just get rid of the subby low end where the mix issues might happen. We can drag this over and now we have a multi-band processor. And what's really cool is if we click right here, we can actually get a better view. And if I move this over and you look down here, we'll actually show you the frequency position. So, you know, coming down maybe around 200 is a good place to start. Now we're just ducking the lower frequency content of this bass line when the kick happens. And if I click right here, we can get back out of there. We can solo the band if we wanna hear it. And now we can sculpt the volume shaper to better remove that low end to our liking. And now you have really precise surgical side chaining happening, not by compression, but by volume automation using the volume shaper inside of the brand new Shaper Box 2 using a MIDI trigger and everything is good to go. That's just one of the many, many incredible things you can do inside of Shaper Box. If there's anything in particular you want me to show you using this brand new plugin from Cable Guys, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to make a video for you. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.